the first topic for today, so we're going to talk about structure of cohesive soil, fine green soil. Uh, specifically, actually, we're going to talk about structure of clays. And then uh, the next topic for today will be plasticity and adverse limits. So first, the structures in cohesive soil, specifically, we're talking about clays here. And to understand the structure in cohesive soil, first, we need, need to know that clay particles are charged particles. This is very different from sands and gravels. If I draw clay particles here. And clay particles have negatively charged face. So this is the face of clay particle. And they have negative charges. And then the edge of clay particles, these edges are positively charged. These are edges. And because the particles are charged, so these negative and positively charged face and edges, they may be attracted to each other. And that dictates the uh, type of structure we see in a uh, cohesive soil like clays. So there are basically two types of structures in cohesive soil. The first type I highlighted here in this picture, the top left figure, this is called the dispersed structure. The dispersed structure in this case, the, uh, the forces of repulsion are larger than forces of attraction. So you see all these clay particles, they are oriented more or less parallel to one another. So that's the one on the top left. So that's a dispersed structure. And um, so this is formed from the settlement of individual particles in water. So if they're settled, settled slowly in water, and they're relatively parallel to each other, the structure is dispersed structure. That's the first type. Uh, the second type of structure in cohesive soil, this is called flocculated structure. So this structure happens when, say, the clay minerals, during their random motion, they are attracted to each other. So you have the negatively charged faces attracted to positively charged edges. And they've aggregated, they, they aggregated to form flocks. So the structure is flocculated structures. So that's the second type of clay uh, structure. In all these structures, flocculated structure, you have basically face to edge. So you can see all these face to edge connection because of the positive and negative charges. In clay minerals formed in sea are highly flocculent. For most natural clays, actually, you will find a mix of both. So you'll find a mix of flocculated and dispersed structure. And all these microstructures are important from a fundamental point of view. So they help us to understand why clay behaves in a certain way. And one example we're going to go over actually uh, this aspect today is clays interact with water very differently. Because clay particles are charged particles, so they interact with water molecule very differently from gravel and sands. So that dictates their engineering behavior. So we're going to look at into that today. The uh, type of structure you see are affected by the chemical and mechanical environment and also clay minerals. So first, clay minerals are basically aluminum silicates composed of silica tetrahedron and alumina octahedron which are combined to form silica sheet and octahedral sheet. So these are uh, clay mineral structure. In terms of the types of minerals in clay, really there are three important types. So these are three common clay minerals, kaolite, elite, and Mount Marilanite. So these three, they correlate to different types of clay behavior. So depending on what minerals are present in clay, you may have different structure, which basically lead to different behavior. So again, those are all important from a fundamental perspective. So that's on the structure of cohesive soil. 